Mo, great to have you back. How happy are you to have signed? I'm really pleased to be signing. Um, you know, one of the main factors here for signing this season again is, um, you know, the ambition of the club. You know, we want to do um, better this season. And um, obviously the fans being back is a big crucial part because I think we kind of missed that last season. And um, hopefully, you know, uh, yeah, I just, I'm happy to be here. Can't wait to get started. Looking back on last season, how do you reflect on it both individually and as a team? Um, I thought um, personally, obviously, I had a good start, you know, uh, even not at my greatest, you know, I still got 12 goals and a few assists and, uh, uh, you know, it started off well for me and then obviously certain, oh, the obstacles in my life came, you know, um, it was pretty, it was new to me because obviously we've, I've had my second child as well and uh, it was, you know, it was as happy as I was, um, you know, it was quite hard for me as well. Um, but I've, we've, I've, you know, I've uh, moved on, you know, we've got on with it and uh, hopefully now I can start, start the new season fresh and uh, ready to go again. Uh, as a team, I think we've, um, I think the fans not being here is a big crucial part for us, you know, uh, playing for this team, I think that our, the 12th man, which were the, the fans, they've, uh, they kind of push us on and I think the games that, you know, we've played with the fans here kind of shows the, the, the level of performance, how it rises just automatically. Um, so hopefully now with the fans being back this season, that can give us more uh, of a spur of a push to, to do even better. Yeah, let's talk about last season a little bit more for you. Obviously, you did have that spell where you were you did about the start of the year. Maybe you'd be the first to say you had a bit of a blip towards the middle of the year, and then you started to find your way back with the second child on the way as well. I'm not saying that's you know a good excuse or not yeah. a good excuse, but for you personally, you look back at that and think, okay, that's happened. I want to prove on that next season and continue that progress with older shot next season. Yeah, I know what I'm capable of. Um, I think the staff and the players know what I'm capable of. Um, I don't really like giving out reasons or you know thing it is what it is it happened um i had a second child i had to learn i had to adapt and um it it was you know it was a big thing you know we, for me and my wife we we've, we've had to do certain things i've you know we've moved out so there's a lot of things that i had to like kind of deal with but you know now i'm fully focused on the football not really worried about anything else you know everything is in place back home, at home so um, you know, and obviously with the international football, that was obviously a big, big part, um, a big, you know, uh, very proud of it and, um, you know, to even get the recognition of playing for them, um, let alone, to, you know, score my debut, you know, which was a feeling I couldn't really describe. Um, but, as I said, performance, well, I'm a very confident person, I'm not, you know, I want to back out any challenges and I feel like, you know, there's some unfinished business and I just want to be doing well for for, for the club, you know, the fans deserve it and uh, hopefully, you know, you will see next season what, what, what Mo will be there still. Because you are something of a fan's favourite, aren't you? You've got your own chant and you mentioned the fans as well. It'd be good to have them back in the ground cheering your chant and hopefully seeing you score some more goals next season. Oh, 100%. You know, I think missing the fans is an understatement. Um, you know, fans are a crucial part to this club, to, to, to the community here. Um, one thing that, went, and you know, as I said last season when I did sign again for my extension, you know, fans are a crucial part to this club. And for us players, I think some players like to play with the fans in the ground. You know, some players might, I think a lot of players last season might have done well without them. You know, didn't really have that pressure or anything. But you know, I'm not someone that like, like loves you know the pressure and you know the, when people expect results from you. So. Uh, yeah, no, I can't wait and yeah, can't wait to see them either. Because of course last season did see you become a Libyan international, you mentioned it earlier. That must make you positive and optimistic that you can go on and hit that sort of form and maybe even beat that form that can see you hit the call from again. You know, uh, as I said, then, you know, I know what I'm capable of uh, and I think a lot of players know what, I am, what I'm like. Um, I'm very positive and I'm just, you know, trying to focus on whatever task I have in front of me, you know, even before international right now, I'm just focused on getting pre-season done, you know, getting as fit as possible um, and 
just let my football do the talking. And of course, the manager is the one that brought you into the club. How much of an influence was he in keeping you on for another season? I think uh, I don't have to say too much about Gaff because I've said a lot of him before. But you know, he's a crucial part. You know, he gives me the confidence to. Um, you know, he last season. You know, when I had to learn and adapt, you know, I took a lot of uh, advice from the Gaffer and you know the staff members around him. And um, you know they've helped me quite a bit through through that, that difficult period I had, but um, you know thanks to them uh, they've uh, they've given me obviously another opportunity now to sign again and um, and hopefully I can repay them with the performances and goals that I will bring next season. That moves me on finally to my last question: goals and targets for next season. Just score more goals, more assists, more wins. Exactly that. You know uh, I'm, I'm a man about goals. You know um, you know my. Ever since I was a kid, my dad's always been about stats, and uh, it's kind of been implemented in my head. Um, I don't, you know, last season I feel like it wasn't good enough for my aspect, my what I expect for myself. Um, but you know, that's the ambitions and that's the targets I have. You know, to score much more goals, and um, you know, hopefully fire all the shot up up the league. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Subscribe. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Oh.